welcome to Loppy Loves Eco. If you haven't been here before, my name is Lauren and on this channel I talk about sustainability and zero waste living on a budget. In today's video I'm going to do a tutorial for the first time um, of how to make a candle from recycled materials. Now, the only thing that wasn't reclaimed in this candle was a little bit of embroidery thread but besides that I have reused some candle wax, I reused the little metal wick disc at the bottom and I reused the candle jar. So I'm going to show you a super simple way to get the wax out of the bottom of your containers. I just have a kettle full of boiled water here and I just pour some in to cover the wax and you might not be able to see it well on camera kind of on this red one can you see that kind of oily substance on the top that's the wax rising up and if you just leave it you will start to see maybe you can see around the edges here and um, the wax all comes to the surface you might be able to see it looks a bit like a lava lamp it's quite cool to watch um, and eventually that will just solidify into a disc of wax once the water has cooled down it might take a few attempts to get all of the wax from the bottom of a candle if there's quite a lot of wax left this one has very little wax so that will probably come out in one go uh, this one has quite a lot left in the bottom so that might take a few attempts but that's the simplest way that I found to get the wax scraps out of the bottom of a candle now I'm going to fill this clear red jar and I'm going to hope that you can see the reaction a little bit better. You see there was something in the jar, it's a piece of thread, I'll just get that out. It floated to the top, but you might be able to see it looks a little bit like a lava lamp. It's quite cool, all these little beads of wax rise into the top and it happens quite quickly. And if I just show you the top, you can see all of the red pooling around on the surface of the candle. So you want to take your embroidery thread and you want to split it into multiple strands. Um, maybe with just two or three little strands on each side. I don't think my camera's going to pick that up very well. You can just about see just, just a couple of strands on either side. Depending on the thickness of your metal wick base. Uh, just depending on how thick the hole is on that and you want it to be double the length of what you want the wick to be okay this bit is a little bit difficult to film so bear with me my camera is on top of a box of cereal uh, so I can use both hands so what you want to do is get your length of cotton and it needs to be double the length that you want your wick and you're just going to start twisting one end as much as you can just keep twisting keep keep twisting and just go as as far as you can before it starts to all bunch up on itself so you just want to keep twisting and if I let it go a little bit taut you can see now that it's starting to bunch up on itself so it's ready then I can't show you this bit but you want to take your teeth like put this in your mouth in the midpoint and take your teeth just to fold it in half like this and then when you let go it should just twist up into a wick by itself and then you want to take your twisted cotton wick and just thread it through the metal disc like this Okay, so this wax is just about ready. Um, there's still quite a lot around the edges and I've not had that before. I've not experienced all of this wax around the edges before, but there was actually a lot of wax uh, around the edges of this candle. It had kind of tunnelled down the middle, so maybe that's why. And if you look at the top, it's still soft because the, the water is still warm, but it is loose and... I think I'm able to take this disc of wax off and it looks like the edges might come with it. So this is what I'm left with from that candle. Uh, the All of the wax actually came out. So to melt the wax, here I have that large chunk of wax chopped into smaller pieces. I've just used one of the candle jars that I'm not going to fill today. 
I'm going to put the wax inside and I'm just putting it inside a pan of boiling water with something protecting the bottom. So I've got a paper towel here, you could use a tea towel, just something to stop the glass jar from touching the bottom of the pan. Another option and probably the safer option is boiling them in an old uh, cleaned out tin can, just a food can. So I have a, an old cleaned out coconut milk tin here and these are some wax discs that I've been saving up. I'm just going to break them up and put them in and then put them in the pan. Um, so I got the water to a boiling heat and then I lowered the temperature. Um, and be careful with the glass because it, it can shatter. It is better to use something that isn't glass like this. So here I have my hot melted wax and I'm going to pour it into this smaller container. I have my wick here and all I'm going to do is just dip the wick into the wax right up until it reaches that metal disc and leave it to drip a little bit and what that does is helps the wick to burn for longer so after a few moments that should be okay to touch the wick the wax is cool then to stick it in the bottom I'm actually going to dip the bottom of the di disc into the wax and just push it down into the centre of the jar and the wax will act like a glue and stick it to the bottom. So now I'm going to carefully pour the hot wax into the container and this jar is hot so it's best to use a tea towel to hold the jar. Um, I'm used to holding boiling hot things so I don't bother. And then to get the wax in the centre you're going to take a spoon <laughs> hopefully take a spoon or cocktail stick or just something that can lie across the edge of the glass and you're just going to try and roll the wick over it a little bit to hold it in place and to do a layered candle you have to wait for the first layer of wax to harden before you pour the next colour on so I'll just do that now And when you have finished making your candle and the wax is all hardened, you just want to trim the wick down to be shorter. And there is your finished candle. Okay, so here in front of me, I have all four finished candles. It did take quite a long time, I'll be honest. So set aside a large amount of time if you're going to do this, <laughs> maybe an hour or two. Um, so the first one I did was this caramel scented orange peach, I guess, coloured candle. This was the first one I did and I think it turned out best, so it just went downhill from there for some reason. <laughs> um, this is my favourite, I think. It smells amazing. My second favourite one is this sparkly silver candle holder with a little pink candle inside and this one's really good this is a yankee candle the leftovers from a fresh cut roses yankee candle it smells amazing then i'd have this one and you probably can't see on camera but it is a two-toned candle although only ever so slightly the bottom color is more of a dark pink and then the top color is a pillar box red color um, and the bottom of this is black cherry scented and it smells so good. But the top of this is just a blend of loads of red and white candle waxes that I had. I just mixed them all together. Top doesn't smell that strongly actually. Considering it was all scented candles. And then we have my final candle, which was a complete disaster. <laughs> I knocked it over before it fully set which is why all the wax came up the side here and the jar just wasn't that clean I got lazy but yeah, these are just for me I'm not gifting them so it's it doesn't matter to me how it looks and this is also a layered candle there is actually a tiny bit of red at the bottom where I just couldn't be bothered to clean the jar out um, but there is just white at the bottom and the white smells really good I can't remember the scent of that one but it was some kind of Christmas scented candle and it's really good and then just a green wax above it um, and this wax actually melted really quickly 
but it took a really long time to set and I don't think it's actually it's not fully set yet um, and that's weird that's an Ikea candle but some of these are from Ikea as well that red one was also an Ikea candle and I don't know why that set a lot quicker than this one did but overall I think it was successful I'm really happy with it so give it a go uh, let me know how it goes for you if you do give it a try and I'd love to see some pictures if any of you try it uh, tag me on Instagram the handle is just at Loppy Loves Eco same as the channel if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up down below leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already of course and just have a lovely rest of your day and remember that you can only do your best bye